All right, guys, so we're back at the junkyard, and this time we actually brung a bag of tools, and I brought a little help. So today, we're gonna be getting some dash pads. We actually found one from the last time I was here. We're gonna be looking for a tailgate. That's, that's an iffy one. They may be all destroyed or rusted out, but we have plenty of things to look at. Yeah. I like the radio though. Mine doesn't have one, but that one probably doesn't work. It's not like pitted or nothing. It like feels solid, it's like the door panel. Oh yeah, it's yeah, it's solid. Sweet. It's just got some yeah surface rust. Right. But barely any of that. Heck yeah. Well, what's what's funny is man these car this this one seems like they drove it here and just let it go you know the key's still in it it's just crazy to me it's cracked the windshield's all done for but look at the look at the sign morris construction look at the you see this tree the way it fell oh man um I think yeah this is our style it's got a crack all the way through it look at the trees just obliterated these man look at that tree just growing through the hood holy cow Alright, so we got a brand new 1968 panel, man. Look at that thing. Sweet. First find of the day. So now well, we need a tailgate, maybe a few little odd end pieces. These here were shot. And then the tailgates, for some of these weren't even there. So um, if we'll take this, if you want to close that door real quick. Yeah, that's one thing. If you go, If you go to a junkyard, the least you can do is close your doors like we're doing. See? Bam! <laughs> yeah. I think it's cool to walk around and see the old signs like painted. Old companies. It'd be cool to have these West Coast mirrors. Like, like the Western looking mirror. Look how crunchy they are. You hear that? Mm. You don't want that. I've always loved the big block trucks with the big front ends like that. They're neat. Mm. Cool. Looks solid too. See this plate here? You got that flathead in there? I'll take that plate and put my radio place. You want? Yeah. Cool. Thank you. This stuff is thick. <laughs> that is some old Scottsdale's. Alright. It's rotting. So close. Look at the grill. See, I just, I don't know, you think? See, it's missing the bars. Mm -hmm. But it's so close to what I want. What do you think? Close. We're gonna need a new blinker. That one's not bad, this one here's kinda shot. Yeah, really, it, it seems like it's in pretty good shape. I know it. What do you think? Should we try it? We might not be able to get that. It's probably why it's still on there. <laughs> oh well. All 
Alright, so now that we made it back to the house, we have our parts. Let's see if she'll fit inside the door. So here's our door currently. We're missing the little shell casing. I see that that one over there has a little bit more pedazzle, but I don't care. It's got to look better than this. Oh, that's going to be perfect. It'll be awesome. Basically, we got to get this handle off. This should stick on there. Then we'll go around and put our little bolts around. And there we go. So here's the moment of truth. Bam! Doesn't that look great? And here's what else is cool about this panel that we found. It actually still has the original backing and it's not destroyed. Could use a little cleaning, but we're not doing that today. Man, looks great. See? It already looks a million times better. Of course, it'll be painted, but it's the same kind of style. It may just be missing that trim piece that you see over there, but you see the lines. We all have the same lines, so that's cool. So whenever we get to redo this entire interior, take all this stuff out, gut it, and paint it, this will be painted at the same time that is. That was my main concern. Losing time, I'm fading fast. I just want to make it last. Try to let go of the past. I close my eyes, embrace the blast. Sleepless nights and headaches stack. Restlessness to hell and back. What's my purpose? What do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack. Man, it looks awesome, dude. Compared to what this truck has came from, who would have thought a door panel? And let, let me ask you, before I even tell you those two pieces, how much do you think I paid for this door panel? At that salvage yard, one door panel, and that radio plate that we're about to put in, I paid ten dollars for both pieces. On eBay, man, people take these panels off hundred bucks, two hundred bucks. It's outrageous what these parts are costing for these old trucks nowadays. But for ten bucks, you can't beat the two pieces that I need pretty much finish up this interior before we get it painted and cleaned up and get new carpet in it and redo the seat. That's one of the bigger goals of this thing. And then of course, we're gonna tackle this outside. We're gonna get this all painted, but let's get this plate in real quick to cover up this radio. Mm -hmm. Probably bent the crap out of it. Alright, these two tabs here. Basically, that's what it would look like. I think that looks a million times better, dude. Hey, I think we can get this one started. I think it'll run great. Oh yeah. Look, it's perfect. Perfect. Just a little bit of cleaning, a little bit of paint. Yeah, it just need a, and it just needs a fuel oh, pump. That's all. Oh, a shaft. A Bandura. This is a diesel. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. That's this got a six-two diesel on this one. Oh, nice. Look at, yeah, it could be floating. You can live in there. Hey, Scooby Doo would not know what to do with all this. <laughs> we got a grinder and sawzall, so we can't prepare. That's good. Probably have to cut that one. I figured I would just <laughs> we'll just cut we'll just cut the fender, take the whole front end. Bingo. That one. Oh no, not like that. All right. Yeah. You break the Milwaukee? <laughs> Do what? No, it ain't broke. I think it's a Milwaukee, man. <laughs> this could cut this whole front end off. We'll take the whole doghouse. 
<laughs> this is how they did it back in the day. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my Gavin. gosh. Shit. Look at that. Bam. You bent it. Oh. No, that would have been back. Just joking. Hey, man. If you want to get the job done, don't use Milwaukee. I need a grinder from DeWalt. Well, ladies and gents, that's how you get a grill out of a junkyard. Don't do as we do. We're not professionals. <laughs> wear glasses, wear your earplugs. I don't care. And make sure your tools are charged. Oh, yeah, and batteries. Make sure you bring plenty of batteries. All right. And you're probably wondering why we wanted to keep for that. It was $50. All you eBay scalpers and Ford parts want like $600 for a grill. Not today. Not on me. But look how long it took to get it off. Hey, That's $50. $600. Yeah. Somebody cut the cab off of that one. Thing is the top. Drop top. And here you go. Here's the Chevys. There's one, the Cheyenne. These are like, what, 80s, 70s, 80s? Here's some old ones. Be a C10. Okay. So now we got door panel. We got the grill, which we'll be doing. Hopefully, we'll be painting this thing. Maybe doing an interior. I got some carpet on the way. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's starting to get dark. We got to get out of here. We'll see you on the next episode. Subscribe. Subscribe.